If you're going to turn around a program or an organization and you want to do it while being transformational, not transactional, you got to get your people to take ownership. This is Brian Kane with the Mental Performance Daily Podcast. And today I take you inside of a live group coaching. We're going to do this for the next three days, consider it a little three day mini seminar with my friend Chad Morris. He's a former college football coach. He's a Texas high school hall of fame football coach. And in these live snippets that you get from a group coaching brought to you by fundraising university, you're going to hear coach Morris today talk about the importance of the three steps to ownership. I know it. I do it. I own it. Let's join coach Morris. There's three steps to ownership. And when you're turning a program around, like Chad was doing at SMU from worst in the country to, you know, to number 10 offense in the country. When, when, when you left the the two wins, five wins, I think, and then seven wins in a bowl, three steps to ownership. Step one is I know it. We got to get them to know the culture. Step two, I do it. We got to see it in behavior. Step three, I own it. They started dressing below the line behavior of culture and other people. And I remember it was year three and we were playing at Houston. And in year one, Houston had it literally had leaked out on social media, them urinating on, on our Jersey in the floor in their locker room and in the urinals. And they, and they, and then they did it to us on the field. They smacked us on the field. And then in year two, they're top 10 in the, I got the ball right here. Game ball right here. They're 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 number 10, 11 in the country. And on October 22, 2016, we win that game 38 to 16. And then year three, we go down to the University of Houston, big rivalry matchup. And the creed that you guys saw in the video, coaches fired up before the game, rivalry game, big game, pivotal in the American Athletic Conference standings. And I don't know what happened, but before the game, you're, you know, you do your you do your normal pregame talk, and it's like, all right, guys, let's go. And I remember Cortland Sutton being like, no, 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 no. Wide receiver now with the Broncos, all pro, best leader we had probably. One of the best leaders we had in that locker room. We had some good ones. And he goes, we ain't we ain't ready yet, coach. Get back on the box. You get back up on the box, and they go through the creed because he's like, we're not going to play this game until everybody commits to living with our core principles. And that, that probably orchestrated by you intentionally was um, – Another moment that I'll never forget amongst many in that time together at SMU. Thanks for checking out Mental Performance Daily with Brian Kane, an Ironclad original. If you like the show, be sure to leave us a rating, review, and comments. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, it's Brian, and I need your help. As a valued member of our Mental Performance Daily community, I'd love to receive some questions from you that I can use to help create new upcoming Mental Performance Daily podcast episodes. So in the show notes below this episode, you're going to see a link where you can submit your questions, and I'll make sure I do my very best to answer those questions on an upcoming Mental Performance Daily podcast. Thanks a lot.